guys you're welcome back thanks for clicking this is how argentina gained the largest muslim population in latin america so let's check it out it's fifa 2022 and the football hype has caught on worldwide the messi fans the ronaldo fans each one claiming their favorite team should be champions it's just the vibe now fifa 2022 has also brought about much publicity to Muslims in Islam, thanks to the extensive effort of the Qatari authorities. While we read and hear about how non-Muslims are turning to Islam after Qatar 2022, it's nice to sometimes find out about Muslim minorities in other countries. Argentina has been long known for its prowess on the football pitch, with an area of almost 2 million 800,000 square kilometers. It is the eighth largest country in the world. The Latin American nation has produced many football stars over the years and is known for its famous wine, delicious food, and world-renowned landmarks. Have we ever heard of Muslims in Argentina? Have we even given a thought they are practicing Muslims there? Probably no. The answer is a probably no because Muslim minorities in Latin America have received considerably less attention than their comparable communities in Europe or the United States. Islam is a growing religion in Latin America, but policymakers are yet to recognize this trend. According to the Association of Religion Data Archives, approximately 2% of Argentines are Muslim. Basically, they profess Islam as their official faith. Religious identification is not questioned or considered for national census statistics. Argentina is a predominantly Christian country, but it being a secular nation, Muslims are free to build places of worship, mosques, and do da'wah to bring more people to the faith. The law prohibits religious discrimination and requires those found guilty of discriminatory acts to pay damages or serve a jail term. This is something that we do not see in many other nations in more developed and first world nations where Islamophobia and Islamophobic acts are rife and Muslims are virtually living on the edge. How did Islam came to Argentina? It would be interesting to find out the facts. The Muslim presence in present day Argentina dates to the time of the Spanish exploration and conquest during the 15th, 16th century. As the Spanish explorers made their voyages across the globe, conquering nations and bringing them under the Spanish monarchy, the Morisco Moors, Muslims from the Iberian Peninsula of North African and Spanish descent, tagged along with the expedition crews. Many of them settled in Argentina as they were fleeing persecution in Spain. The Roman Catholic Church and the Spanish crown commanded these Moors to convert to Christianity or face compulsory exile after Spain outlawed the open practice of Islam in the 16th century. The Spanish and Portuguese unified monarchs were insecure and feared these Moorish Moriscos would prompt new invasions from the Ottoman Empire after the fall of Constantinople. Thus many, the numbers are vague and unclear, fled Spain. And the crews that sailed around the world were ideal opportunities for these fleeing people to latch onto. In the 19th century, Argentina saw a huge wave of Arabs, of Syrian and Lebanese descent settle within its borders. Though most of these Arabs were not Muslim, they were Arab Christians. Argentina's first two mosques were built in the 1980s. First, at the Tawhid Mosque for the Shia community was opened in Buenos Aires in 1983 with the support of the Iranian embassy. The Al Ahmad Mosque for the Sunni community was built two years later and was the first identifiably Muslim building due to its unique Islamic architecture design with the support of King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, who was the monarch of Saudi Arabia at the time. The King Fahd Islamic Culture Center was built in 1996. This is significantly the largest mosque in South America and is a complex of the masjid, two schools, a library, and a park. Many Argentine Muslims were overlooked by the population until 1989 with the election of the highly controversial figure Carlos Menem. Menem was raised by two Syrian migrants 
and he became the first president of Arab origin. When famous and popular figures identify to a particular race or religion, it is known that the sect will get identified more. Unfortunately, Menem abandoned his Islamic faith and converted to Christianity only because he wanted to become the president of the nation in 1966. Although he converted to Christianity, his Muslim background still lurked within him. He donated towards the King Fahd Mosque by selling an eight-acre land. Many Argentine Muslims see this building as the capstone of Menem's legacy. Buenos Aires, Argentina's largest city, has witnessed how a religion that is not preserved can die out. During the 19th, 20th century, around half a million Muslims migrated to Argentina. But despite population growth, the number of self-identified Muslims pretty much is stagnant. It is a sad reality. Why aren't the Muslim numbers growing? There are a few reasons which we could outline. Many Muslim Argentines have married outside the faith. Children have only one Muslim parent and do not know Arabic as their first language. This has led to many being unaware of how to read or learn the Quran. Now, these children essentially speak Spanish as their first language, and access to Islamic literature and knowledge, and even Quran transliterations and translations aren't freely available. Also, the lack of religious study centers such as madrasas are lacking, and this is a grave issue as there aren't centers for youth who are interested in learning the deen to turn to. A lot of the people have integrated so well into the Argentine custom and culture that they've lost their Muslim and Arab identities. These are admonitions we have been taught in Islam to remain firm upon our faith and traditions despite being around people of other faiths and cultures, or else we would eventually be following them down their lizard holes literally emulating them in every aspect of life. The number of practicing Muslims is low. At the central mosque on any given Friday, there are no more than 20 people for Salatul Jum'ah, an appallingly low number for a nation that has at least a million and a half Muslims. Many of the people who want to learn about Islam and attend programs and retreats to learn more and also to spread awareness on the religion are reverts to the faith. As mentioned earlier, the born Muslims don't show the commitment that their reverted counterparts do. These people who have learned about Islam and have embraced Islam wholeheartedly meet on a weekly basis to learn more about Islam, the teachings of the Quran, and the meaning of belonging to a community. In 2011, the administration passed legislation to allow Muslim women to wear the hijab in public without facing persecution. In addition, Muslim women were allowed to use photographs with a hijab for national IDs. This law expressed the freedom of religion and expression in Latin America. There is less fear among general Argentines about Islam than in the United States or Europe. But Islamophobia and the negative impact of the Western media have made it hard to some Argentine Muslims to practice their deen. That's their claim. On the other hand, there are the Muslims amongst them who still hold tight onto their Islamic beliefs and traditions that have been passed down for generations. Currently, there is an urgency among some Argentine Muslims to have reliable teachings of Islam in Spanish to cater to the growing numbers of youth who speak only Spanish. This generation of youth who are inquisitive and curious to learn, to yearn for knowledge in a language they're comfortable with. An important contributory factor to Islam being explored in Latin America of recent is the unbiased role the governments and people have played to not pollute the true nature of Islam, which is peace, tolerance, and kindness. Wow, mind-blowing. The fact that thousands of people converted to Islam are doing the World Cup 2022 and after the World Cup, it's so mind-blowing and the rate at which, you know, Islam is taking over in Argentina is... Woo! And Argentina is number eight largest, um, is number eight in the world. Yes, number eight popular country in the world. My God, that was beautiful to watch. And I love the history they gave concerning Argentina, how, you know, Islam started, you know, building mocks. The first two mocks they built um, in Argentina, the mocks that was built were two 
from the beginning from there it started expanding and from there islam started taking over and that was beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye